before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in to another video. Just going to be covering Hasbro Pulse's Fan First Wednesday event from April the 6th. So just literally within the last 24 hours. And just go through some of the figures that were revealed because it's uh, some pretty exciting stuff. Especially for those vintage collection fans and collectors like myself. Um, I myself collect both so I'm excited to talk about all of these. So let's get into it with some Black Series. So kicking off we have Commander Creel um, from the Marvel comics and this is basically a stormtrooper wielding a lightsaber and uh, it's actually looking cooler than I thought it would given the uh, some of the recent releases that haven't really been given that much love. Um, the accessories look pretty solid on this one, um, you know nice sort of additions with the straps and the pouches and the little imperial cog on the pauldron. Um, it's looking pretty good. Um, will I get it? I might, um, you know, a little bit give and take with the sort of comic releases and the gaming greats these days. Um, just with the price point here in Australia, at least, they're $10 more than your regular Black Series. So I'm being a little bit choosy, um, and that's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. So it doesn't hurt to save a few dollars here and there. So next up we have... Princess Leia coming straight out of the comics once again. This is sort of set between uh, Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. Um, really great looking Leia, to be honest. This is, this is one that I'm digging myself. Um, you know, nice bit of extra hair sculpted onto it. Uh, looks really good. It's a mostly new outfit. From what I've had little time to study, um, looks pretty decent. Uh, the Padme cape, you know, is a nice addition. Um, but yeah, an overall, a pretty nice looking Leia. And this is probably one I will pick up um, because it will go side by side really nicely with the uh, with the Luke Skywalker in his yellow, yellow jacket. Um, that figure that came out a couple of years back, um, which was probably the figure that really inspired some of these sort of comic releases and, and book releases. So I'm, I'm digging it. I'm looking forward to this one. Next one we have is coming straight out of the Infinities comics of yesteryear. It is White Darth Vader. Now, for those who haven't read the comic book, um, this is basically an alternate future. It's a little bit like Star uh, Marvel's What If. Uh, so yeah, Star Wars Infinities, it is Darth Vader and he is white. Um, <laughs> a little bit disappointed they didn't give him the blue lightsaber instead of the red, but it is what it is. Um, this figure did come out in a comic pack some years ago. Um, in three and three quarter inch scale so back in 2007 i think so it's been a long time um and for those darth vader diehards or those with a with a vader focus we'll, we'll be itching to get a hold of this one and rounding out we have rc republic commando sev and i think at this point we all know that hasbro is just going to punch these last couple out really really quickly um yeah, they're sick of copying slack for the inaccuracy. So I think Hasbro will ra be racing to get these out pretty damn quickly. We just had a uh, fixer revealed just a few weeks back. Uh, we have Sev here and obviously Scorch being the last one. Um, so I dare say we will get a reveal on Scorch, probably at Star Wars Celebration if they're going to do some more reveals. Um, yeah, again, a gaming great. So I will pick this one up. I did like the Commander Boss despite the uh, inaccuracies. I I'm, I'm just happy to have these figures. Uh, these characters in some form or another so i'll be picking this one up for sure um all right one more to round out the black series and here is saw guerrera this one is going to leave a lot of rogue one fans clamoring this one is looking really really cool um obviously revealed as a pipeline uh sometime late last year um first pitches in hand looking looking pretty solid i think we're all looking forward to a saw guerrera to call it deluxe is it neither here nor there um you know what i'll take it it's a it's a sort of a little bit more a little bit more to it than the the most basic figures so you know i'll, I'll wear the uh, deluxe cost on this one i think it looks good um you know swap out bald head might have been cool um but we didn't really see that much of bold sorgera in the movie so i think this is a win this is a big win for black series fans um you know Hopefully we get some more new, new, new stuff coming very soon. So we'll definitely stay tuned. Star Wars Celebration coming up in about six weeks. So um, yeah, we'll stay tuned. Let's get on to some vintage collection. 
So first off we have Mandalorian Death Watch and this one is looking like a really really cool release. People are going to be clamoring to get uh, multiples of this one. Um, looking fantastic, really really nice looking figure. Um, yeah just, a, just an absolutely awesome army builder. Um, and to go along with that we also have the Death Watch Mandalorian, another army builder. This is going to be one that's a uh, hot property. Given that those uh, six inch versions of these characters were pretty difficult to get a hold of, especially if you wanted to army build, um, particularly here in Australia too. But yeah, these are looking fantastic. Really nicely brought into the uh, three and three quarter inch scale. Exciting for a lot of fans going forward. And uh, speaking of exciting, we have a very cool re release of Shea Vizsla. Now this is a figure that is uh, fetching top dollar for the original version back from 2013. Uh, yeah, one of the last ones that sort of hit shelves back in the day for Vintage Collection and I think it was an online exclusive if I've not forgotten. Um, this time they're gone with a new head sculpt. Uh, same helmet, same accessory, same everything, same card. Um, but yeah, new head sculpt which is much, much nicer in my opinion. Um, not that the last one was bad but this one just looks a little bit nicer in my opinion. I think it looks good. So next one we have is Lando Calrissian coming on a Battlefront 2 Vintage Gaming Greats card which I'm not sure why because he did wear this outfit in the Solo film and would it just look a little bit nicer on the Solo card. But either way it's a cool looking figure, nice bright looking colours, very very out there, very very Lando <laughs> I guess that's the best way to say it. A lot of people argue that uh, a lot of Landos have peg warmed lately so we'll see how this one goes. Um, fingers crossed it's not three per case. And this one here, Figrin Dan, he was actually revealed a couple of days ago, but he's uh, no doubt excited a lot of people. Um, and Hasbro has since revealed uh, that the rest of the band is coming. They'll be coming in a separate box. Figrin Dan will be the only one on an individual card, which is sweet, which is really cool. So it doesn't look like we're going to have to buy like six, six Figrin Dans. We'll be able to get the rest in a box set. And next up we have my boy, Arc Trooper Jesse, a uh, figure that just came out in a three pack just a year and a half ago, uh, roundabouts, uh, finally getting his individual card and uh, yes, I'll be needing this one, I'll be needing a couple of them and I'll be signing autographs on some others because uh, yeah, he is, he is the best clone ever, second to Rex, but he is awesome because he's got a great name. Hasbro have also revealed another run of these sort of gimmicky uh, retro, whatever you call them, figures, prototypes. Uh, we're going with Chewbacca this time in uh, sort of all the colours of the rainbow. Looks like he's been smashed together out of Skittles. Uh, definitely not up my alley. I see why the collectors get them, but uh, you know, you've got to buy like 25 of these to get all the variants, so it's a new from me. And I would be remiss if I didn't spend just a moment to wrap up this video talking about Trapper Wolf's Black Series helmet. The helmet that Dave Filoni wore in the Season 2 episode of The Mandalorian. Season 1. Season 1. Episode 7. Or 8. I can't, I can't even remember anymore. Um, it's all a big blur. It's all one big story to me. Um, yeah. Just just buy it it's cool i'm gonna buy it looks awesome who who wouldn't want this next to their trap wolf action figure looks awesome so thank you for sticking around for this video of looking at these current reveals um i will look forward to watching the panel at some point in the coming days um just to get a little bit more information for myself but you know just wanted to immediately react to some of the releases and and get some thoughts out there because I, i'm digging what they've I'm digging 99% of what they've revealed today. Um, am I going to buy it all? No, definitely not. But uh, it's cool. There were a few things I missed, such as a Death Trooper uh, four pack, which is uh, like the Hasbro Pulse exclusive army builder packs. Um, but us down here in Australia, New Zealand, uh, as far as I know, any, a lot of other countries have not had an opportunity to get a hold of these at all. So. Um, yeah, just chose to skip reporting on it. <laughs> so, um, but uh, yeah, I have mentioned it now. But um, yeah, hopefully we get some more news very soon. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And uh, yeah, stick around for more videos because I'll be back very soon with more. Thanks again. May the force be with you. Always.